Wait, what is it called? I don't even know what the tag is called. <laughs> Most anticipated July anticipated reads. What? I already said anticipated. <laughs> this is what happens when you drink alcohol and stuff from videos, guys. <laughs> hmm. You end up not knowing what you're talking about. Probably getting lipstick all over your face, but you know, we're a hot mess, it's fine. Whatever, got a burp. <coughs> we're good. That's for you, sir, who keeps asking for a burp video. That's all you're getting from me. Please stop asking me. Thank you. <coughs> there you go, another one. You're welcome. Excuse me, I'm filming. Shush, phone. It's Twitter. Apparently I have friends, because real people in my life do not text me. I just get Twitter friends. It's fine. I'm not bitter at all. It is. Have to burp. <coughs> we're good. Hey guys, it's Jay, and today I'm here with the Mid-Year Freakout book tag, and it was originally created by Chami over at Read Like Wildfire and Ellie from Ellie Jane, so I will leave both their links down below. So without further ado, let us get started! First book is the best book that you've read in 2016 so far, and I am going to say Cress by Marissa Meyer. There's a bookmark because my mother is reading it. I've already read this book, I swear. I'm obsessed with it. I love it so much. Favorite out of the Lunar Chronicles. I'm so excited to read Winter. I actually just got it today, so you know you'll go. I'm gonna be reading that next. Totally not following my TBR. It's like 800 pages, and I'm terrified of it, but it needs to happen. Number two is the best sequel that you've read so far in 2016. And I would say Cress, but I'm saying that a sequel has to be the second book. That's what I'm going with. Inquisition by Turan Matharu. I love this book. I gave it a 5 out of 5 stars on Goodreads. Obviously, if it's the best sequel that I've read. This is the second book in the Summoner trilogy. The first book is The Novice. It's about a demon summoner named Fletcher, and his demon is the cutest thing in the entire world. It's a fantasy trilogy. The third book is coming out sometime next year, I'm pretty sure, and I'm very excited about it. I definitely recommend this if you're into fantasy. Number three is a new release that you haven't read yet, and I am going with If I Was Your Girl by Meredith Russo. I want to read this book so, 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 so bad. It's about a girl named Amanda who is actually transgendered. Number four is your most anticipated release for the second half of the year, and I'm going to go with The Merciless 2 by Danielle Vega. It is The Exorcism of Sophia Flores. I actually talked about this in my most anticipated July books. I'm super excited about it. I want to read it so bad because The Merciless was one of my top books from 2015. You guys can check out my top 15 books from 2015 if you're really interested. I'll leave a little card up there. Self-promotion. <laughs> Number five is my biggest disappointment, and I am going with Shut Out by Cody Keplinger. If you guys have been on my channel since the beginning, you know that The Duff is like my all-time guilty pleasure read. I love it. I love it so, so much. And therefore, I found Shut Out in my thrift store, and I was like, oh my god, Cody Keplinger is going to be so good. And I did not like it at all. I think I gave it a two out of five stars on Goodreads, which was like... Super big disappointment. Because I was so into it, I was like, Cody Keplinger is my girl, and it just, it wasn't what I wanted. I didn't like it. It's in my unhaul video. Look, you can look at my unhaul video if you want to. Shameless promotion again! Number six is the biggest surprise, and I am going with The Girl in 6E by A.R. Tor. I loved this book. I was not expecting to like it at all. Because I was like, ooh, like erotica, like it's okay, like, I'm, I'm into erotica, I'm into thrillers, so like put them together, it might be interesting, but I wasn't really expecting much from it. This was so good. If you have not read this book, seriously read it. It's about a girl who locks herself into apartment 6E because she has this urge anytime she's outside around people to kill them. And it's just, it's so interesting and it's so good and read it please, read it. Number seven is a new author and this can either be a debut or new to you. So I'm personally going with a new to me author and I am going with Cassandra Clare. She is the author of The Mortal Instruments and The Infernal Devices. I have read two of her books so far, City of Bones and City of Ashes. I'm planning on reading the rest of the series. It's gonna happen, people. It's gonna happen eventually. I gave this one a 4.5 out of 5, and I gave City of Ashes a 4 out of 5. I heard they just get better as it goes on, so I'm very excited to continue with the series. Number 8 is your newest fictional crush. And I'm going with <laughs> Captain Thorne. If you saw my May wrap-up, 
I gushed about Captain Thorne. I love him so much. I think he's hilarious. I think he is sarcastic. And he is just the perfect man for me. He is everything I aspire to have and hold and marry. And therefore, please marry me, Captain Thorne. You don't need Cress. You don't need her. You need me. That's all. Number nine is your newest favorite character. And I'm going to hold up a different book from the series to be original. And it is Magnus Bane from the Mortal Instruments series. I love him so much. I think he is so sassy and just everything about him is fabulous. And I want to be best friends with him. I love him so much. Also Simon. I really like Simon as well. See, I'm probably picking them as my favorite characters because this was like the last book that I read and that's what's in my head, but I love them. Love them both. Magnus Bane more than Simon, but Simon is, he can be a close second. Maybe even Captain Thorne. Can I pick Captain Thorne again? I don't know. Number 10 is a book that made you cry and I am going with Slammed by Colleen Hoover. I read this back in like January, I think. It was a long time ago, but I remember crying at one of the poems in the book. Think that it was super beautiful. Molly always says that like any poems that I like, she like hates. And honestly, I just think that words strung together are pretty. And that's probably where I'm getting all of this crying from. But like, I have no idea if poetry is good or not. It just, if I feel like it's good, then it's good. It's probably shit poems, but like, you know, I'm not a poet. Ask Molly if they're good, because I don't know. Number 11 is a book that made you happy, and I'm going with the selection. I'm just going with the whole selection trilogy. By Kira Cass. These books are absolute trash, and I loved every second of them. Honestly, they were so good. Like, if you just want to not think, read these books. Because I was in a humongous slump after I read my month of May, and like, I read like 22 books or something like that. I just didn't want to read anything. I picked these up for the TBR Takedown Readathon, and I flew through them. They are just, ugh, all the trash, all the love. I love these books. Basically, just The Bachelor in book format. Number 12. I guess it would be this way. 12. 12, whichever way it is. I don't know. Edit this, Jan. Figure it out. Number 12 is the most beautiful book that you have brought into your possession this year. We have two books for this question, because I don't follow rules, so <laughs> deal with it. I have... These Broken Stars by Amy Kaufman and Megan Spooner. I love her dress. I want her dress. And also, I just really like the colors of the sky. And I just, I think it's very nice. And also, I really like Tarver. So, you know, the book had to somehow get on this list. And therefore, pretty cover. And the second book is actually a book that I got today. Okay, I'm very excited about it. I've already mentioned this in the video. but It is Winter by Marissa Meyer. I'm so excited about this. I think the cover is so pretty. I just cannot get enough of this, and I'm super excited to read it. It's like 800 and something pages, it's gonna be the biggest book I've ever read, and I'm terrified of it, but it has to be done, because The Lunar Chronicles is such a good series, and I need to finish it so badly. And number 13. 13, whichever way the edit is, I don't know, because I can't figure things out. It is, what books do you need to finish this year before it ends? And I have so, so many of these. First, I'm gonna say Harry Potter, just so Molly will get off my back. I will read Harry Potter eventually, Molly. It's gonna happen, just I don't know when. Next two books. Days of Blood and Starlight, Dreams of Gods and Monsters, second book, third book in Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy, need to get that done. I have them. Winter, need to get that done. Throne of Glass series, need to get that done. Rest of the Mortal Instruments and the Infernal Devices, need to get that done. You know, it's gonna happen eventually, maybe not by the end of the year, but your girl can be hopeful. Cheer me on, people. It might happen. It probably won't happen, but whatever. We'll see. Number 14, whatever, is your favorite member of the community, Molly. I love you, Molly. You guys all probably knew that that was who I was going to say. If you haven't checked out her videos, check her out. She's a super cool feminist booktuber, and I love her so much, and she's super awesome, and she's my bestest booktuber friend in the entire world, and you should all subscribe to her. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay, guys, so that was my mid-year book excitement. I forget what the tag is called. Whatever it's called. Well, that was it. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye. <sighs> Cheers to the freaking weekend. What readathon was it? Keep your tight down. And I have two of them. I have these broken stars. Is that what it's called? Yeah, look at me getting these right. My camera shut off on me because apparently I talk too much and it doesn't want me to talk, so. <laughs> Screw you, camera. Yes, mother. Dinner. Okay. Slightly burned. Slightly burned. Delicious. Love it. Thank you. A booktuber community person in the community. What is English? Jay doesn't know.